O Lord in heaven, we call out to you. Give us wisdom for what is to come. I hear the thunder. I hear the lightning. I hear the earth changing. We're to look. Look into the oceans and see the tides change. Look into the sky and see the changing of the moon and the sun. Look into the stars. Look at everything around us. The plants, the animals, all things are signs. Lord, I call out to you for the wisdom. <clears throat> I pray that all around will have wisdom. I pray that all will see the things that are you showing us. With the mighty, O oh Lord, the mighty, the mighty strength of you that is amongst us. That walks amongst us with your Son, Jesus Christ. And you can feel what is coming. It's about to come upon us. Yet the ones wander with their heads to the pavement, working hard, not knowing the slavery they're doing is not for you, Lord, but only for the holy dollar and their master. Their master is Satan, Lord. I call out to you. Change their hearts. Please, Lord, send down your angels. Stop the demons. Stop the Satan. Change their hearts. Get them right with you, Lord. Time is running near. I know you're telling me this. I can tell. I have sense it every, every day, every waking hour, the things that are coming upon us. Everyone just sits around and plays their games and never takes the time to talk to you, Lord. I pray this in your name. I pray this for the souls, all humanity that is about to be lost because it's going to end here soon. As you move those planets in close and change everything that we know here as humans on this earth, the time is coming and it's coming quick. I send messages every day. I show them the moon. I show them the sun. I do your work, Lord. I try my best. Others do the same. It's not about me, Lord. It's all about you. Nothing I do is accomplished amongst me in my will. It's all within you, Lord. I do this as a servant to you, Lord. I serve you. I do not serve Satan. I see your mighty. I look upon the storm that is out. I see the lightning. I see the, the thunder. I see everything that you create. I see what you're trying to do to shake and rattle the world to the reality. The time is coming. So I say this in a prayer to you, Lord. Give them time. Give them time because they do not have any wisdom. They do not have any heart. Their souls are lost. That maybe they'll turn around. Maybe they'll take time and listen, Lord. All they need is a little more time. But you're the one that knows that time and hour. So I prepare, I do the best I can, and others do the same. That's what we do for you, Lord, in your name. Amen. God bless. Thank you, Lord. As we'll take a moment of silence and watch the storm, the lightning, the strength of the Lord comes upon us, people. He's calling out with his voice. He's trying to tell you. Look at the lightning, guys. The strikes. The thunder. Do not walk in the dark. Do not live in the dark. Live in the light. That's what he wants for you. The night is for the dark night. Satan himself. Do not live in the dark. Live in the light. Stay away from the dark. Pull your heart away from all the silliness of the world. You're consumed with it. You're ate up with it. You just don't know how to get yourself right. You've got to turn from it. You've got to turn from it now. Time is running out. I pray this. I pray this for you. I pray this for myself. For I am a sinner. We're all sinners. We have to continue to get right. Because the forgiveness we need we don't even know of because it's so supernatural. We have to pray for that unknowingly prayer of repentance for forgiveness because we don't even know the supernatural forgiveness we truly need to get us right with the Lord and to follow with Jesus Christ to get us into heaven. We walk with him every day. We try to walk with him. We talk to him. 
but we always have that moment of the flesh, the weakness of the flesh. I pray, I pray in my heart that I'm right with you, Lord, that I'll be ready for you, Lord. I pray this. I pray others will pray the same prayer, because I know time is near. I know it's coming soon. In your name, in your name, Lord. Oh, holy, holy, King of kings. I love you, Lord. God bless to all, all that truly want to believe. May there be mercy. May be redemption, repentance, salvation, and all the things and promises the Lord has given to us that we will remain here until he comes for us and not be confused about all the silliness that surrounds us every day with sin because they want us they want to drag us down us to their pit their pit of hell is where they're going to be down in that pit of hell friends they're going to be down there burning reaching up saying oh oh please ask please let me have forgiveness i'm so sorry i should have known well it'll be too late then friend we don't want to have that for you we want you to have the repentance and the salvation now friends that's what we ask that's what we do this for this is not a game this is not a game at all so you can make mockery of the Lord you can make mockery of me but when you make mockery of me and the Lord there is nothing left because when you make mockery of the Lord you have shut the gate you shut the door and there's nowhere else but the hell so if that's what you want you continue that path I'll take a moment here We'll listen to the rain coming in, and the storm, and the lightning. It's just a reminder, friends, the time is near, it is coming. Oh Lord, oh Lord, our Lord, our Lord, how many more things will you show us? How many more signs will you give us before it's too late? How many more? I go to bed with you in my heart. I wake up with you in my heart. I just pray that you continue to show me if I can show others. That's what I live to do every moment. That's what I try to do every moment. We all try, the ones that are really believers. But they think we're, they think we're crazy. They think we're silly. We're just foolish people. And the government wants to turn every one of them against us. Because they know as long as we're here, they can not continue their, their suit to Satan, to their master, to create the world they want here on earth. But our world lies within the heavens, with the Lord himself, the only king of kings. And as long as they continue their path, and we continue our path. There will be a conflict, and we know that. And they will try to take us out of here. And that's just how it is. So God bless to all the believers. We're praying for all you sinners, the ones that are lost. Even though we are sinners ourselves, we know. And yet we know the path we're trying to follow. We know that we're not going to turn away from the Lord. We have the Lord in our hearts. And that's what keeps us going every day. So, take and remember this as I shut this down for the night. The time is running out. The strikes will be struck and the time will run and that'll be it. There'll be no more. God bless. Y'all have a good day. And try to get up with the Lord in your heart and no more sin. Just to ask for forgiveness. And he continue to ask for forgiveness. For he is the one that forgives. And forgive those around you. Keep the Ten Commandments in your heart. God bless. I love you.